Welcome to another Olympiad math video. In this video, we are solving for 4 to the power of x minus 2 to the power of x equal to 1. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to rewrite 4 as 2 squared. So we're going to have 2 to the power of 2x minus 2 to the power of x is equal to 1. Now, using exponent properties, we could say that for this case, a is 2, but if we had a to the power of bc, that is also equal to a to the power of b to the power of c. So therefore, we can pull out our 2 value, and it would look like this. We would have 2 to the power of x to the power of 2 minus 2 to the power of x equal to 1. Now this is very useful because now we can factor out a 2x and substitute it for a letter u. So if we substituted that, we would have u squared minus u is equal to 1. And if we subtracted 1, we would then have u squared minus u minus 1 is equal to 0. Now, having it in this form is great because we can now use the quadratic formula to solve for u. If you haven't used the quadratic formula before, I have a video on it. So please check that out if you need help. But if we plugged in our a, b, and c values, we would have a negative times a negative 1 plus or minus negative 1 squared minus 4 times 1 times a negative 1 all over 2 times 1, which would simplify down somewhat to a negative 1, or a negative times a negative 1, plus or minus square root of 5 over 2 times 1, which would ultimately give us two answers because of our plus or minus. So we would have 1 plus square root of 5 over 2, and 1 minus square root of 5 over 2. So let's get a clean slide here. Now that we have our two u values, we're going to substitute back in our 2 to the power of x for u. So we have 2 to the power of x is equal to 1 plus square root of 5 over 2, and 2 to the power of x is equal to 1 minus square root of 5 over 2. Now something we need to recognize right off the bat here is that 1 minus square root of 5 over 2 is going to give us a negative value. And when it comes to exponents, no value for x will give us a negative value on the left side of this equation. So therefore, there's no real solution for this option. So that means our only option is 2 to the power of x equal to 1 plus square root of 5. And we're going to use the natural log function to solve for that. So we're going to take natural log of both sides. And now we're going to apply exponential log properties. So if we had log of x to the power of b, we can move that exponent, that b value, to the front of the logarithm. So we'd have b times log x. So in this case, we'd be able to move our x in front of our natural log. So we'd have x natural log of 2 is equal to natural log of 1 plus square root of 5 over 2. Now lastly, we just need to divide the left side by natural log of 2 so that we can get our x value by itself. So our final answer would be x is equal to natural log of 1 plus square root of 5 over 2, which is all over natural log of 2. If you have any questions, please comment down below. Otherwise, if you found this video useful, please like and subscribe. And thank you for watching.